what's up you to welcome back to my channel and today's video we're gonna be looking at diamond hunts now he is currently in the item shop he is a rare outfit he is part of the to the moon set he does come with the back clean the games so without further ado guys let's get this review started so diamond diamond hunts diamond hunts or like everybody in the community knows him as Tonks is actually a very really good skin he does resemble a lot Jonesy when it comes to the suit but other than that the hands the face and everything about him is very unique then he does have the backing gains which is actually just a stock meter going up which actually resembles the skin perfectly so there's the question I've been getting a lot is he worth it now he is a meme skin, he does resemble John Wick, Jonesy, and so many other outfits that do have a suit, but in the end of the day, it's just very different. He does have a bald head or a mannequin head, which actually makes him stand out a lot, and then even the back thing itself is very universal and clean, that I would just suggest anybody buying the skin right away. So what's my final rating for Diamond Hunts? I'm gonna have to give Diamond Hunts or Stocks a 7 out of 10. Even though I do love the skin since I'm a meme collector and I use meme skins, the skin itself is just another reskin of the Reaper that we did obtain during Season 3. Now we do have a lot of skins that do have suits, but this one actually does stand out a little bit and that's the reason why I'm giving it a good rating. Then you do have the back thing itself that's very universal and you could actually equip it to any skin even if it doesn't have orange. So without further ado guys, let's get these combos started. Now for our first combination with the Diamond Hans, we are going to be pairing him up with the Swag Bag. Now the Swag Bag itself is just a duffel bag that does have a lot of money on it. And if you are going to be going with Hans to actually get money, it's something that he would wear. Then for the harvesting, so we're going to be going with the Candle Hopera. Now for the reason behind this combination is because it does have blue that complements the hands. And then on top of the candle, it does have like this metallic black color scheme that goes very well with the outfit. Now another harvesting tool you could replace it with is the Frostbite King, but I have used that a lot in a lot of combinations and I just didn't want to put it again in this combo. Then for the control, we're going to be going with the cash flow. The cash flow control fits very well with this combination because it's the back thing itself. Then for the glider, we're going to be going with the big haul. The big haul glider is just two briefcase full of money and if you are investing in the stocks, more likely you're going to be banking so having this control and glider combo fits perfectly. Then for the ride, we're going to be going with the stealth black. Now the stealth black wrap is just a metallic texture wrap that does have an all black color scheme that fits very well with the suit. Then for the next combination with the diamond Hans, I can be pairing him up with the mini moon. Now if you are investing in the stocks, most likely you're going to be rocketed to the moon. The mini moon back thing just resembles the whole meme behind this whole combination. Then for the harvesting tool, we're going to be going with the throwback axe. The throwback axe is the regular harvesting tool that you did obtain during chapter 1 and it's just very simple and matches the simplistic look of Hans. Then for the Contra, we're going to be going with the Getaway Case. The Getaway Case just fits very well with the metallic features it does have that complements the moon. Then for the Glider, we're going to be going with the Deep Space Lander. The Deep Space Lander itself matches really well because of the black aesthetics and the meme behind the moon's backlink. Then for the Rap, we're going to be going with the Assassin. The Assassin Rap fits very well with the metallic silver look and black color scheme. And for the last combination with the Diamond Hans, we are going to be pairing him up with the Crystal Llama. Now for the Crystal Llama, we're going to be using the Diamond Edit style since it does have a white color scheme and it's better than the green one and the red one. Then for the Harvesting tool, we're going to be going with the Ice Bringer. Now for the Ice Bringer, we're going to be going with the Silver Edit style since it's a perfect match for the backline. Then for the Contra, we're going to be going with the Spectral Essence. The Spectral Essence is just a wind Contra on your back that complements the white Llama you do have. Then for the Glam, we're going to be going with the Safe Cracker. The Safe Cracker just matches really well with the whole meme of him actually investing in stocks. Then for the rival, we're going to be going with the Deep Frost. The Deep Frost has this blue texture on it that kind of looks like diamonds and it complements his hands perfectly. Now for the honorable mentions with Diamond Hans, you could pair him up with any backlink that does have black. Anything with like money or like crystals and gold is going to fit perfectly because of the whole theme of the outfit.
for the backlink gains. We are going to be pairing up gains with Vertex. Now there's a simple explanation between this combination and it's just the color scheme. Then for the harvesting tool, we're going to be going with the Tangerine Terror. The Tangerine Terror is the best orange harvesting tool we do have in the game right now and it just matches perfectly with the metallic frame of Vertex. Then for the Contra, we're going to be going with the Dinner Dive. The dinner dive does have butter coming from both hands, but the main reason why I'm using it is because of the orange color scheme. Then for the glider, we're going to be going with the cinder. The cinder glider does have the chapter 1 glider this time with an R orange color scheme that fits perfectly. Then for the rat, we're going to be going with the burn mark. The burn mark does have an orange color texture that just fits perfectly with this combination. And for our next combination with gains, we are going to be pairing it up with the beef boss. Now the main reason behind this combination is not just the curse scheme, but the Beef Balls restaurant is actually growing in stock, so it's a perfect interpretation whenever you do add this backlink. Then for the harvesting tool, we're going to be going with the Tattered Pounders. The Tattered Pounders are just two giant french fries that fit perfectly with the theme. Then for the Contra, we're going to be going with the Alphabet Soup. Now the main reason we're going with the Alphabet Soup is because the lettering itself matches really good with the buns, and then the soup itself matches really good with the orange. Then for the glider, we're going to be going with the Cruiser. The Cruiser Glider does have an all yellow color scheme and a chapter 1 glider design that matches really good with the harvesting tools and the bun itself. Then for the wrap, we're going to be going with the roof. Now the roof or the Burger King wrap matches really good with any of the patty skins, mainly Beef Boss. And for the last combination with games, we are going to be pairing it up with Sagan. Now Sagan is a very solid skin for 800 V-Bucks that does have an orange and black color scheme that matches perfectly with the back one. Then for the harvesting tool, we're going to be going with the carvers. The carvers harvesting tool is orange mainly on the handles and it just fits the whole thing. Then for the contra, we're going to be going with the dinner dive. Again, the dinner dive does make another appearance, but it's a solid combination with any orange skin. Then for the glider, we're going to be going with the forerunner. The forerunner glider is the best orange glider out there and it fits perfectly with the orange design. Then for the wrap, we're going to be going with the inferno. The inferno wrap is a solid wrap that does have a solid color scheme of orange and black, which goes very perfectly with the outfit. Then for the honorable mentions with Gain, you could pair it up with any outfit that does have orange. Any outfit with a solid screen like black or white is going to look perfectly with this backlink sense. The sense is very universal. Those are the three combinations I did find for Diamond Hans and the three combinations I did find for Gains. Let me know in the comments below which one's your favorite. And if you're new to my channel, subscribe or post videos or fake cosmetic skins every single day. And if you want to support the channel, my code is Enigma Kid, all caps, two Ds, all together. Each time you guys use my code near the item shop or the Epic Game Store, I do get a small percentage of it and it really helps this channel grow. And if you guys have any combo suggestions, leave them in the comments below. And for all my social media and Discord, they'll be in the description. And with that being said, guys, I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.